Hey guys, my name is Crystal. I'm going to be doing a reading for Taurus. Alright, so just um, take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't for somebody else. It's okay if the whole message doesn't make sense. Just means somebody else needed to hear that. Now also, um, I don't even know what I was going to say. Who cares? <laughs> I'm going to do past, present, and future. That's what I was going to say. Okay, so... Past, you got King of Swords, Queen of Cups, Six of Swords. Um, kind of finally opening your eyes, being able to see clear, whether that's seeing through people, seeing what you really want in life, or kind of figuring out what your, you know, way that you want to go in life is. It's like you finally are able to, like, see clear. You know what I mean? Um, the Queen of Cups tells me um, you may be emotionally cut off to some type of situation or person, or right? I don't know if the... <clears throat> you could be dealing with a water or a air sign also, okay? But I do feel like whatever um, that you're closed off from, you're like trying to leave this behind. It's like um, trying to detach yourself mentally from something or someone, all right? Let's see what you're trying to detach from. Ugh. Okay, so you needed to make a decision to get out of some type of toxic situation. It could be family, friends, relationships, um, jobs, coworkers, bosses, anything. It's like you had to make a decision. You finally were able to see clear enough to make this decision in the past. And it says, what do you need to release? It's actually the Oracle card, which I didn't realize. It's like the King of Swords finally realizing what you need to release, okay, and doing that. Um, so it could be like negativity, it could be the way that you think, the way you feel, the way you do, you know, certain things, the way you act, okay, so it's like, you know, stuff like that. It could also mean that you're finally seeing through people and situations, realizing, you know, it's not serving you anymore, and kind of like releasing that. Then you have for the current, you have prosperity lies ahead, this is also Taurus, so you are in your own reading, current energy, so you are kind of like, um, in your energy, basically. Prosperity lies ahead. Let's see what's going on now. Four of Pentacles, investing, saving up. Um, can also mean that you're actually letting go of a situation finally in the current time. So I feel like you were able to see through, right? You kind of made your decision. Maybe you didn't act upon it yet in the past, but maybe you're about to act on it now. It's like whatever you were holding on to, you're ready to finally release it or walk away from it. And by doing that, it's going to bring you a lot of happiness, abundance, you know, being able to hang out with your friends, your family, all right? Um, but this also means that if you are saving and if you're investing in something or someone, it's like it's going to work out for you. It's going to be a brand new journey also, and it's going to bring you happiness. So whatever you're working on, it's like it's going to be okay, all right? For your future, you have the judgment card. A decision needs to be made. Um, and this is a personal issue reaches um, resolution, right? A personal issue reaches resolution, and that's basically what the Ace of Swords is. And the judgment is finally coming to the realization about it and actually doing it, all right? This can also mean you're cutting people out of your life. It can mean that maybe you're going to, like, court or some type of legal situation, and finally things are going to start working out for you. It may have taken a long time. It may have been a lot of work that needed to be done, but it's like you did all the work for it, you know, in the future. It'll be, like, finally almost over and done with. I feel like you're finally going to be standing in your truth, finally doing what you want to do, finally doing what you're supposed to do or meant to do or whatever way you want to call it. All right, and I was going to clarify that, and it is the Seven of Wands, okay, so maybe you feel like you had your guards up around something or some type of situation, all right, that you, um, maybe you're feeling like you have to protect your investments, maybe you're feeling like you have to protect something that you've worked so hard for, all right, so it could be like maybe you're trying to fight so hard to keep your job, or trying so hard to keep your love, or to keep your home, or something like this, you know what I mean? But I do feel like you had justice. I do feel like you guys may be going through some type of legal situation. You know what I mean? The Ace of Pentacles, a new door is going to open for you. So, okay. These are actions and advice. The energy is gaining momentum. So whatever you're doing, just keep on pushing forward. It's working out for you. Whether you see it or not. <laughs> Ace of Cups, you are in the star. Oh, these are all good cards. Like, you got good stuff coming for you, okay? You got the star, major healing, have hope, all right? Have faith in your dreams. Do not give up. 
All right, the energy is gaining momentum, all right? So it's like it's happening for you even if you're not seeing results. It's happening, so don't give up. The, the, this is a card of just the universe promising you to be able to live out your dreams and doing what you wanted, being um, emotionally and happy and emotionally fulfilled and being happy and all stuff that you want. <laughs> Um, it could be a new love coming in for you, too. If not, it'd just be like, you know, things are like mending. Things are healing. Things are working out. Um, the Justice card tells me things are balancing out for you, whether this is legal or not legal. It's just whatever situation that you're going through is finally um, is really needing you to bring some balance into the situation. And then the Ace of Pentacles. So you got two Aces, the Star, and the Justice. Two Aces and two major Arcana cards, which are actions and advice. It's like if you're trying to start your own business or trying to open up some type of new doors or whatever, it's like, you know, do it. And if you're needing some new balance or needing to kind of set some ground rules or whatever, you know what I mean? Needing to change some stuff up. Maybe you need to set down some new type of rules. I don't know why I said that. But if so, do that. And then it's saying go for your dreams. So if you're feeling stuck and you're, you're feeling like you, you're not um, getting anywhere or going to go anywhere, you never will unless you are actually trying. So it's like actually try for it. Go for your dreams. And, you know, keep the faith and keep the hope. You know what I mean? Things will work out for you. Okay, um, the bottom of the deck, the Eight of Swords, all right, so that you are feeling trapped in some type of situation. You could be trapped in your thoughts. You could just be trapped in negativity, trapped in, like, a situation that you're in that you just don't want to be in no more, you know what I mean? So, um, let's see what else. What are they trapped in? Some type of situation that you're giving too much. You're giving too much, all right? And once you start learning how to balance that out, it's another reason why the Justice card came out. I guess balance is a big thing for you. Balance things out. Do not keep on giving to people who are not giving back to you. <clears throat> to you. If they're not giving back to you, then that just proves them right then and there of the kind of people that they are. And it's up to you if you want to keep allowing other things to just not to stay. It's up to you what you want to leave, live. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's up to you what you allow to keep into your life. You know what I mean? It's up to you. I'm going to pull some, some Sarah, Sam, Sarah, Oracle cards. I can't talk. Let's see what we got for you guys. All right, that wanted to come out. I got language. This is an omen to pay closer attention to the way people speak to you. Watch how you speak to others. Ask for clarity to avoid confusion or misunderstandings. This can also represent learning a new language or further understanding the language of spirit and energy around you. Communicate your truth. With all the swords, cards, and all that stuff here, too, you may be asking, being asked to listen to your intuition a little bit more. Um, you have wish fulfillment. This is a positive omen of happy endings. This could symbolize good health, happy family, love, financial freedom, growth, and renewal. This represents a culmination of your hard work, effort, and good intentions. Healing from suffering has come. The sun is shining on you. Rest, eat well, celebrate your mi milestones. I don't know if y'all can see this because my windows are all over the place. I don't know. My nose keeps itching. Maybe you guys are having somebody come back to you. I don't know. Beginnings. A new dawn has emerged. This is a time to celebrate change, newness, and growth. Beginnings come in many forms. This could be a signal, a time this could signal a time for a new job, home, relationship, idea, or creative endeavor. You have worked so hard to get where you are. Stop to appreciate all the steps you took along the way. So, like, all your hard work is paying off. Like I told you, you got nothing but good cards over here. You know what I mean? So, it's like things are going to work out for you if you lost hope and you think that they're not. Just keep them pushing forward and just know that they will work out for you in the best way. And that the universe always has our back, you know, and always has our, the best interest in mind for us. You know what I mean? So, thank you for watching. And if you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.